been burned for a couple of years, so the um, fuel loads are going to be a bit higher than um, if we get them every year. We can help it um, without a burn through it, but um, just to avoid damaging the tiles. G'day, I'm Anthony Watt, Vegetation Management for the Country Fire Authority. I'm here in Dunkel to tell you about how to help the CFA to better understand the risk of grassland fire. Understanding how fires burn is important to help us manage the risk throughout the state. Let's go. This is a prescribed burn to reduce fuel loads. The reason why we do it is to help stop a fast running grass fire. It's somewhere that enables us to slow it down, hinder it and stop. When it comes to understanding fire behaviour, we need to know a number of things about the state of grass. It's very important that we get this right. And the CFA has a project to help everyone understand grass fire risk across all regions of the state. A network of volunteer observers sends in data to help make a map of grassland curing. In other words, how dry the grass is. So with my uh, other observers throughout the state, the data that we input into this curing map goes to help municipalities to determine when fire restrictions should come in. It goes to assist those pie charts you see in the towns where the, where the indicator should be on the pie chart. And it, it can assist and help the chief officer when he's talking about declaring a day of total fire burn. The grassland curing map also helps us decide how many people to put on standby. It's easy to become a volunteer grassland curing observer and it only takes a few moments to do. Every Sunday through the fire season, you observe the grassland around your property and send in your data either online or over the phone. You find an area near your house that's not too green, not too dry, and if possible, that doesn't have any trees. Then you write down a few numbers on your grassland curing field card, including the height of the grass, how dry it looks compared to some photos and how much grass there is. So if you want to become a volunteer grassland curing observer, just call or email the project to register your interest. The data you send in helps us manage fuel loads throughout the state, which in turn helps us to protect lives, property, and the environment. Mm -hmm.